Hey guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair. Today we're going to be talking about float height and how it affects your carburetor. Okay, so a lot of people will talk about float height and that you need to adjust it. Um, it doesn't go out of adjustment, let's start with that. But I'm going to tell you what you're doing when you adjust it and why it matters that you have it set properly, okay? So here we go. Guys, just to show you how cold it is here, my cleaning solution is completely frozen for my carburetors. It's about 10 degrees here in North Carolina. So, uh,. <laughs> It's a cold one, so I'm doing stuff inside the shed with the heat on. So, All right, before we get started, let's go over some quick little basic things here just so you understand what's going on. Okay, here's a carburetor. Okay, this is a, uh, I don't know what this is off. It's an old one. It's an old Makuni. All right, so here's our, uh, here's our float right here, okay? Uh, but I want, what I want you to see, because it's important uh, while you're adjusting your float, is where the main jet sits. Okay, you can see the main jet right there. You can see how low it is, all right? It's almost all the way at the bottom. It's almost below the bottom of the bowl into the uh, cap, all right? So keep that in mind here when we start talking about a couple of things. Now, the float height, um, you want to make sure that the float height is adjusted properly. So you want to adjust it uh, so just so that the um, float tab, okay, the little tab right there, you want to make sure that the float tab is just touching the plunger on the uh, float needle. You can see the float needle going in and out right there, all right? So you want to set this so it just touches it, okay? You don't want to have it pushed all the way down just so it touches it. And you're going to measure from the top part here, which is actually the bottom of the float, to the ceiling surface of the bowl, all right? So um, what I want you guys to know is that this tab right here doesn't go out of adjustment. It, it's not going to bend from too much fuel or anything. The only way that this thing gets messed up is if uh, somebody gets in here and starts playing with it, all right? So if your float height is a little screwed up and it's not, uh, it's a little too high or too low, basing it on the measurements or the recommendation, it's in the manual, all right? You want to set it properly here just by taking that tab and you can just bend the tab a little bit so that it touches the uh, plunger of the uh, float needle sooner, all right? If it touches it sooner, you're going to be lowering it. And then remember, we're upside down here. All right. If you make, if you bend the tab away from the needle, all right. So bending the tab this way, it's going to drop in further before it hits. So you're going to float levels going to be down there. All right. If you bend it the other way towards the needle, it's going to be out here. Now let me tell you why it affects things. All right. Because it's easy just to say adjust your float, but you need to know what's going on. So let's take out this center main jet. All right. So here's our main jet, and then here's the emulsion tube right below it. So we're going to unscrew that. All right, what I want you to look at here is the emulsion tube. You see the emulsion tube has a bunch of little holes in it. These holes are very important. What the holes do is atomize the fuel. All right, so this comes off. This is just a um, uh, this plastic piece sits in the bottom, and it stops the fuel from splashing around. All right, because that sits. All right, when it's all back together again, it's going to sit all the way down in there. All right, so now when the fuel gets sucked up through the main jet, all right, through the main jet here, it's going to go up here. And then this part right here, when it's screwed in to the car body, into there, air is going to get sucked around the outside edge into those little holes, and then it's going to suck the fuel up through here. All right? So your needle from your carb slide, I want to sew it back together again, it, the needle goes inside of here. Okay? So your float level needs to be at the proper height in here. All right, so you can see the holes here. The float level is usually set up right about there. And you got these two holes that are inside the fuel, and the rest of them are above it. And the reason that is is that if if the float level is too high, so you have the fuel all the way up here, you only have one hole right here that can help atomize the fuel, and the system will be too rich. If you have the fuel all the way down here, right, the level of the fuel is all the way down here, you're going to be sucking in too much air and only a little bit of fuel getting up through there, and it's going to be too lean. All right, so let me show you a little picture I drew really quick. So basically, this is just showing you what I said. All right, so you have the um, you have the main jet that goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, you have the emulsion tube that starts there. That's the nut part, and then here you have the emulsion tube with the holes. Now this is the throat of the carburetor where the air goes through. The emulsion tube sticks just into that a little bit. So when the air goes uh, into the, your intake here, it passes that. All right, we got the venturi in here. It sucks up fuel and it sucks it up the emulsion tube. Now both sides here, where your air is going to be coming through. So the air is going to get sucked in as well as the fuel. The fuel comes up the middle, but the fuel has to go in through the holes into the center emulsion tube and get sucked up into the carburetor. So again, here's where the level should be. If your fuel level is too high, right, you're going to be all these holes right here are not going to get 
any air. They're only going to get fuel sucked through them. So you're going to have a rich system. And if your level is all the way down here, you're going to have all these holes sucking air and just a little bit of uh, fuel through the bottom part. Also, if you set your fuel uh, level too high, it's going to leak. You're going to have problems here if you have any seal issues and that kind of thing. And the reason that that's important is because when you start to jet your bike and you start to adjust the jetting on your bike, if you have a bike that's sucking way too much fuel here, it'll throw off your jets. So you'll try to uh, you know, lean it out here because you got too much fuel here and it'll just mess up all your jets. So you want to make sure that your level is set properly from the start. It should be the first thing that you do uh, before you start jetting. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps explain a little bit of the float uh, and what it does and why it affects your mixture if you raise it or lower it. Make sure you get that set where it uh, needs to be, and you guys should be good to go. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell for further notifications of my videos. Until next time, guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.